welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be an unboxing of the Google Pixel 4. Uh, I'm excited to unbox this phone because I, I love phones. Um, typically, I'm, I'm more excited to open an Apple phone, but we're not going to get into that today. <laughs> Um, just kidding. I know, uh, you know, there's some people that are diehard Apple fans and there's certain people that are like, no, I have to go with Galaxy. Um, I was and I kind of still am on the Apple side because, you know, that's what I'm familiar with. And I just I like the um, I like, you know, I just like the experience with my iPhones and my Mac and the watch and the AirPods. I really like Apple. But after doing some research, I can definitely see why some people are really, really into Samsung. And it's actually prompted me to want to possibly get a business phone that is a Galaxy simply because of um, the storage capability and then also the fact that I can get like a storage card. I know you can purchase more storage through Apple, but um, you know, the, the, I don't know. I'm just like seeing some of the different um, Samsung phones and the, you know, the storage that comes with the phone starting out. Um, you know, like with Apple, a lot of the phones start off at 64 gigs. With Samsung, I'm finding out that, you know, a lot of the phones start off at 128 gigabytes. And um, they're kind of like the same price. So I'm, I'm just thinking about it. And then also, um, you know, some of the apps that are restricted for me through Apple are not restricted through um, an Android. So, you know, I'm just doing some research. My son was uh, on the fence between getting an iPhone 11 or another um, like Android phone. And so this isn't Samsung. He's coming from a Samsung 9. And for the upgrade, he decided to do a Google Pixel 4. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it with you all. If you are interested, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So first things first, let's go ahead and unbox it. This is going to be like a, a early birthday present for him. Uh, we talked about what phone he wanted, but he doesn't know that I actually have it. And so um, I know he's going to be excited. So right now I'm just opening the box that it came in. I have the package delivered to a Walgreens near me uh, instead of my home just because I didn't want to play um, tag with the delivery or with the carrier service. I didn't want them to come and then I not be there and then have to wait until they get back to the facility and pick it up there. I just thought it would be easier to just pick it up. Later on that day, once I actually got in from um, like a Walgreens store, so I decided to do that. When you open up the box, this is what it looks like. It says fragile. Now, actually, this is the box that is going to um, hold his iPhone, not his iPhone, his Samsung Galaxy S9, um, because we're sending this back and we're going to be using the Google Pixel 4. So it comes with that. Inside of the box, it looks like this. And this is what the phone looks like, or this is what the box looks like. Now my son is really into like um, certain games with his phone and he's really into the storage and um, he, he uses his phone. He would use it all day if I allowed him to, but he, you know, he, he enjoys using his phone right now. Like I said, he has the Samsung Galaxy S9 now, one thing that I did notice about the um, Google Pixel 4 is that it kind of mimics, in my opinion, it, it looks similar to the iPhone um, I, iPhone Pro Max. No, iPhone, um, the iPhone 11 Pro. That's what it looks like as far as the camera. Just the camera being like square. I mean, of course, the iPhone has like the three cameras and things like that, but it just reminded me of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm not gonna do a review because I'm not going to be turning it on and setting it up in this video. I may do a what's on um, my son's Google Pixel 4, possibly, but this is what it looks like when you open it up. Uh, I think it comes in like white and black. He decided to go with black. Inside of the box, it looks like this. It comes with your instructions. and also a SIM key. It also comes with a charging cable and charging um, wall uh, port. And also comes with a lightning charger. Now, if you do have the iPhone um, like 11 Pro, 
uh, or the Pro Max, then you're familiar with the charging cable. It's really, really fast compared to the other, the, the other chargers that I've used. And so I'm sure he's gonna like that. So that's what comes in the box. The phone looks like this. I am gonna take the plastic off for you all. He doesn't really care about that. This is what the front of the phone looks like. Ah, I won't take it all the way off. So this is what the front of the phone looks like. As you can see, I'm recording right now on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is what the back of the phone looks like. And to me, this looks like an iPhone. I don't know, it just, it looks like an iPhone. It reminds me of an iPhone, to be honest. Like the front looks like an iPhone to me. And so does the, the back. So I'm gonna turn it on, but I'm not going to set it up or anything like that. When you power it on, it does say Google. I also think it's pretty cool that the phone is black, but it comes with a white power button. Now I do have to find a case. I didn't order a case online and I had him looking at the phones that he was interested in as well as a few cases. And he told me that he was interested in this phone and it was also between, like I said, the iPhone 11. Um, and what else? Uh, the case that we were looking at, he wasn't necessarily set on. And so, you know, I may just go to five and below and see if they have any cases for this phone. Typically for my iPhones, I go to five and below to get my cases. So I'm gonna check that out. But this is what it looks like. It's asking him to sign in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back off. I'm just gonna click power off. All right, shutting down. So that's what it's looking like. Um, I, I am looking for a uh, Google phone, or not a Google phone, but an Android phone for myself. I don't know, if this, is this considered Android? See, I don't even know if this is considered Android. I was doing all that talk about Samsung and Galaxy that I don't know if this is considered. I think this is, I know it's designed by Google, obviously, but I don't know if it is an Android operating system. I'm thinking that it is, I'm not sure. Um, but I do know that this phone came with different storage options. I ended up getting a 256. Um, so, I'm thinking that he will like this phone, hopefully, because this is the phone that he chose. I still am considering either going to Google, I may get the same phone that he has for my business, or I may get a Samsung or Galaxy, pretty much because I want more storage and I want the ability to download more apps. Um, there are certain apps and certain things that I, I want to customize with my phone now. Before, I really didn't care, but I do like the fact that you can customize um, you know, some of your icons, I know you can do that on, on Apple too, but I just feel like you have more flexibility and more freedom in a sense with an Android operating system. I've never tried Google, so I am going to um, probably come back more than likely with an updated video, just kind of explaining our um, experience using Google. And I'm saying R because I'm probably gonna be playing on it too, just to see how it works and to see if I do want a phone like this. But I really like the fact that it came with a charging port. And so that may be the selling feature for me the charging the um, super fast charging port and also the way it looks like I said it really looks like an iPhone to me and I love the way the iPhones look and um, yeah so I haven't saw too many reviews on this phone to be honest I just wanted to come to you all with an unboxing video in case any of you are interested in getting this phone and you wanted to see what it looks like or if any of you um, you know maybe interested in the phone later on you know I just wanted to kind of show you an unboxing of what it looks like and how it's going to come so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Again, like I mentioned, I am gonna be trying to come back to you all with a follow-up video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.